the lighting is absolutely stunning and it beautifully complements complements what complements the very vibrant environments and when i say vibrant and colorful i'm not just talking about the plant life and the the obviously colorful set pieces i'm also talking about the kind of grotesque fungal rot infections taking hold the decrepit buildings Oh, the gutted streets, it's all incredible, it draws you in. I would honestly say that every single shot in the game, every single viewpoint arrests you. Interactions between Joel and Ellie are very frequent, but they're very dynamic. Not one word feels scripted, not one sentence feels like it's been kind of wedged into play to force character development. It's natural and effortless. It's sort of like water. It carves its own path throughout the gameplay without disrupting the flow. The gameplay is fantastic and something I'm personally really excited about. The first thing I noticed and wanted to actually mention is that I like the fact that since picking up items and scavenging and things, because they're such a big part of the gameplay, I was half expecting to have to keep spamming the pick up button for every single item you find, but that's not the case in The Last of Us. If Joel's facing in this general direction and there's about, I don't know, 10 items in front of him, just press pick up and he'll pretty much just get them all. As far as AI goes, Ellie is not your typical, what I would call a passive helper, which we've seen in a lot of other games. She will literally run right into an enemy if you're kind of caught in a scrabble. I thought that was really, really refreshing. And all the small details really impressed me. Like the way physically, kind of body language wise, Joel and Ellie would react to foes or tension or shifts in the story. They were very, very subtle. So subtle, in fact. You tend to forget you're playing a game. Sometimes it sort of feels like you're existing within the space at times, or maybe you're in a movie. It's very interesting, it's almost like the screen disappears at points. And lastly, as well, things made sense. For example, when I played the demo, one of the first things I picked up was a kind of makeshift weapon. It was a pipe with scissors haphazardly tied to the end. When I came across my first infected, I attacked it from behind, sort of whacked at him with the pipe and dragged him to the ground and I noticed that when Joel picked the pipe back up the scissors weren't on the end of it anymore and what had happened was when he smacked the infected with his pipe the scissors just kind of lodged into his throat and when he pulled that pipe back up the scissors stayed in the infected makes sense it makes perfect sense it sounds silly but it's small things like that that elevate something that little bit higher. And even though the story is fictional and it creates its own rules uh, within the verse, it still plays by our rules, or the laws of physics, as my animation teacher <laughs> used to say. I think though that the main reason I'm really excited about The Last of Us has to do with my love of survival horror. Most of you who watch my videos will know I'm a huge, huge fan of that genre. I love the tension, I love the strategic sort of element, and of course, the horror. But survival horror as a genre has very much been built on the limitations at the time, or the limitations of the console. This has been mentioned in a previous video, but in Silent Hill, for example, the fog was really there to mask the fact that the town was actually quite small. The verse was quite small. But with the fog, suddenly it became huge. It was like a maze. Well, that is a good representation of what survival horror has kind of always been. For a while, I've wanted a new game that took the elements of survival horror, but brought them to the current generation and focused less on the limitations, I suppose. For me, The Last of Us is that game. Don't get me wrong, there are many other elements at work in the game. But for me personally, it sort of represents a newer, better, faster, 
breed of survival horror game and that to me is extremely exciting. I would comment on the music and the sound as I always do in my reviews, even miniature ones, but it was so loud at the venue that even with the headphones on, the volume just couldn't quite make it above the din. So I could hear dialogue, I could hear infected, and anything that loudly popped out at you, but any ambient noise or music was lost, unfortunately. All in all, I left playing the game and the event, come to think of it, feeling the same feeling I feel after seeing a really awesome film at the movie theater. You're a bit awestruck, you're very entertained, and you want lots more of it, whatever that it is. I literally can't wait to play the game in full and experience everything within the context of the overall narrative, like Bruce said, I really... slivers, just the slivers that I'm getting are so incredible, I just need to play the entire thing, and I'm sure once I do, I'll want to revisit it over and over. And I know you're sitting there going, well, Megan, I think you might be counting your chickens. No, no, I don't think so at all. So that's it. <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, thank you so much to Neil and Bruce for making last night truly unforgettable. That actually sounds really dodgy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, to my subscribers, you will see me in my next video. Again, please check the links in the descriptions for all the live streams and the footage and stuff, and hell, if you watch, you might even see Max and I. And by might, I actually mean you will. Hello and welcome to the last of us live. Bye.